I wanted, uh, I'm going to start crying. I wanted to share an absolutely incredible miracle that happened to me and my daughter within the last four days. So she is a senior, and with Swamiji's blessings, she's graduating in January. So leaving high school for a month in December is not really possible at all. Anyway, uh, it was Tuesday, 4 a.m., and it's Tuesday, and the program starts on Thursday. So Swamiji laughs on the background and goes, okay, well, I can show up one day instead of her in school, but 21 days? Okay, is this too much work? Okay, let her go back to, the, um, to school. Nothing to lose. So she goes to school, and at 9 a.m., I got the first text from guidance approved, I am going to a dean. I don't know, are there any parents from New York? <laughs> Do you understand how crazy this is? So now the dean calls me and says, well, do you realize that if she doesn't go to school in December, she is going to miss this many days of school, she's going to be a high school dropout because she cannot take these classes in the spring. The whole story, I can tell that story like with my eyes closed. She goes on, goes on, and then she stops and says, well, when is she coming back? <laughs> well, 23rd. She goes, hmm, well, she can make up. Anyway, making long story short, 12.30, next morning, all signatures, every single one, with a contract with every person, was in her hand. And the next day, we flew. <laughs> this is your Sadashi Wokham 2016. So, it's, it's crazy. It's awesome, awesome. <laughs> Nityananda, everyone. Uh, this morning I was coming for uh, puja and I had a really big fall. I just feel that I am tripping, 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 and I landed with my left hand and my right knee, and I just can't move. And I'm feeling all this pain, and I'm saying, Swamiji, please heal me. I don't want to be in pain. And I just stood there until I start to feel that I can get up. And I was taken to the medical center. While I was there, I could feel the healing of the smaller wounds and around my body. And I didn't think that my open wound would be healed. But before maybe an hour or less, every, all my pain was gone. And I closed my eyes. Through my third eye, first thing I saw was Kalbairoa, Ganesha, and Swamiji. I open my eye again and close it, and all I see is Swamiji, Swamiji, Swamiji. And he say, oh, be, sorry, before that, it's like my garbage is saying, will persistence, I have to walk to feel the pain on my knee to go away. And I did so, and everything is okay now. So I just want to share that with you guys that it just happened this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Nityanandam. I um, have been doing Rudra from January, and that's how in energy I met a uh, teacher. Uh, I called him Bliss Master. My family insisted I go watch all his videos. 
And that's when I saw he was doing meditation with Kurma Mudra. So on first day when we did the meditation, uh, no, maybe it was second day, uh, you did the, uh, in the, in the month of the initiation. So I was able to go in and um, there was a special Rudra Mudra, which in energy I received. So instead of doing this way, you do it like marriage this way. So I was thinking, how cool is it? Rudra is on the back. They made me sit right next to him. Okay. So I um, was able to show my mudra and I could see my one half was mine, one half was his energy and he was moving differently and I felt like so much closer in that space and I also asked, um, that time he said he will give, grant me what I wanted, one of the things I asked for was Nitya Kumbha Mela, he said it's granted already and my, um, in the past in the car, what appeared in my car cup holder. So I feel he already gave it to me, but he validated it. So I felt better. Nityananda. So my story, I hope a lot of you who are having any type of guru denial or doubt can wake up to this. I came to meet Swamiji two years ago in Haridwar and July IA and since then I remember leaving and I was so empowered feeling you know like I was seeing so many changes in my life and at that time I wasn't seeing Swamiji for a master I would only just see him as like okay he's a teacher but there would be this disconnection from my part and I remember he would always say if you deny me you are denying yourself I didn't get it at the time I didn't realize that I was denying every single cell every single part of my being was denying me because he is me fast forward to this year I spend I think a whole entire year denying Swamiji. The beginning of this year, I got into a situation in my life where there was a lot of confusion, yet he was always there, always reeling me in for me to find my way back to him. Then a week before Sada Shivoham, I was doing a workshop and Swamiji had said write down your incompletions for coming to Sada Shivoham and I was like I don't have any I I was in, in India earlier this year for three months I'm like there's no way I'm coming back to India the next day I receive a call from Elena and this is like at midnight she's like you are fully sponsored to go to Sada Shivoham I was like how, how is this happening? I was on the phone with her for half hour. In that half hour, I booked my flight to come to India that Friday. And let me tell you how Swamiji took care of me. I found the cheapest ticket I've ever found to come to India. It was $786 with travel insurance. I get, <laughs> it doesn't end there. I get to the airport, the guy checking me in, looks at my passport, he's like, oh, you Greek? And I'm like, yeah, my dad's Greek. He's like, oh, I put you in more leg room because you're Greek. And I was like, oh, wow. He's like, <laughs> he's, I'm like, I'm going comfortable to India. So then I have a layover in Kuwait and I'm on the shuttle. The pilot happens to be there. He smiles at me. I smile back. I'm about to go to my seat. When the flight attendant comes to me, he's like, would you like to sit in first class? I was like, yes. <laughs> uh, and they were like so interested in what I was doing here. And, you know, I told them, I'm like, I'm going for this program, meditation, yoga with my guru. And I get here. And I can say that the past four days, 
my connection, my love and devotion. I think that the most beautiful part, and this is something I have to say because I definitely don't want to forget this. Um, I wasn't just caused. My mother was also caused. She didn't have a visa. She ended up coming two days after me. We ended up going up for darshan at Swamiji's feet. And my whole body, every single part of my being just fell onto his feet in complete devotion. And I could feel the love that Swamiji has for me, the love and compassion that he has for humanity, for all of us. And as I was leaving, my whole back was turned to him and my whole body just turned and fell to the ground onto my knees in complete devotion for finally having awakened to my guru. So, <laughs> anyone here who's new to Sadashivoham, who's new to Swamiji, just be an open vessel to receive. Receive the infinity, the infinite that Swamiji has for all of us, because there's no such thing as separation. I used to think there was, but when you deny the master, you are denying yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Nithi and uh, Swamji. I'm so grateful to be here to share my story with everyone here. And I know that we don't have enough time, uh, but I just want to make it too short. This morning, what happens to me is um, my partner bring me to this Sadashwaram, and I'm so happy that I also wanted to help him to help him to bring her sister to come to Sadashwaram. And we made it. I thought that we made it, but last night when we found that. Um, our lovely sister was blocked on the gate and we can't find her because she doesn't have this phone and everything. I just totally lost and I said that I want my sister to be safe. I want her to come. And I just straight away uh, called the Swamji again. I said, Swamji, um, please help me. And then straight away I just see that my sister is sitting or just like this in front of the gate, that area. And then I just came and I asked my boyfriend, I said, I don't have enough time. I'm going to process the payment for my sister. Could you please just, just go and have a look at the gate? And just in a second, I found the message that, oh, you don't worry, sister is here. By the time I have processed the payment. Thank you. Nithyananda. Uh, so I have a money miracle story to share. Sadashi Voham has really been the um, catalyst for transformation and creating that deep connection with him. So it was the workshop when we were at Elena's place two weekends before Sadashi Voham, and Swamiji is telling us, complete with all your incompletions that are stopping you from getting here. And Evie and I were literally drawing cartoons uh, on a piece of paper. We were set that we were not going. And um, I told myself I was at Kumbh Mela. I'm good, I don't need to be there. And she said, Swamiji says, you have to be there. He's gonna shower you with 10 times whatever it takes for you to get there. I'm like, I, I can't say no to that, right? So, and my thing was, okay, I could spend the money there, I could spend it somewhere else. That was my incompletion. So I told myself, I said, I'm gonna go, and I declare that in the next two days, I'm going to make all the money back, every single penny. The day after, I pay, sorry, the day that I paid 
for Sada Shivoham. I get a phone call from a woman who she said, I heard you're a life coach. I'm interested in coaching with you. It was a 60 second conversation, which if any of you are in the industry, you know it's never that easy to cause someone to work with you. So in one minute she said, I want to work with you, how do I sign up? So of course my self-doubt went, wait, are you sure? Do you need more information? Do you have any questions? She said, no, where do I pay? A few hours later I get another phone call from another woman saying, I heard you do coaching. She wanted to coach. Also another maybe three minute phone call, it was flawless. This is where it gets trippy. I need $1,000 and um, I go to Starbucks, I'm about to back up and a car backs up into mine creating a microscopic scratch on my bumper. And I was like, I get what you're doing, Swams. <laughs> so I, uh, I go to get a quote for my bumper and the guy says, it'll be $700. So I call the guy who bumped into me. He said, okay, I don't want to go through insurance. I'll pay you the cash. He shows up at my door, gives me the cash. I said, okay, wait, I still need a few more hundred dollars to really say, I, I, Swamiji did this. <laughs> um, so I said, why not take out a credit card? Instead of digging into my bank account, why not try to get some rewards? So I open up a credit card and the reward that I got back, I owed my parents 300. So the reward I got back was exactly $600. <laughs> okay, we'll take one last sharing because we really have to get ready for the session. One last sharing. Yeah, first of all, for coming me here was something I didn't think about it because I wanted to connect with Swamiji in 2010, but couldn't connect. I wanted to go to the Kumbh Mela. I visited the Kumbh before the Kumbh to welcome Sarupananji, but I couldn't there. But June, I just came here on a coupon from Mahaparipurna. I just met Swamiji. And Mahaparipurna told, you will come here sometime. And I just did a webinar and I did the Akashic reading. I told, you will come for Sadashivam. I just put a, this that I'm in for Sadashivam. And the same day, the flight happened. And I met, always used to attend Rajiv Manotra's lecture, if you remember, every time. And when I saw him, I told him, you are here. He told me, you are in the right place.